don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a real busy couple of days. Um, on Monday we had um, a, an all day business meeting. Um, <laughs> business come working lunch, come turned into working dinner. <laughs> um, a full practically 12 hour working day. Um, having meetings about new products for one of our client companies. Um, Indigo Blue, our friends from Indigo Blue. Um, so we were working um, all day yesterday on creating and finalising some products for an upcoming um, weekend three-day workshop extravaganza that we've got what they call one of the dirty weekends because people get covered in paint. So, um, and they've got that coming up fairly soon. So Ian and I were helping them put together some special projects for that um, and working on some other new projects too. Um, so that was all day yesterday. Today, we've been actually creating um, the products for them. Um, so I've just kind of finished. Ian's just taken Mr. Bentley out for his walk. So I thought I would just come upstairs um, and just sit down and just take a few minutes have a bit of a relax, have a cup of coffee, turn on the camera um, and just create an art journal page. And I wanted to introduce to you a couple of new products for me, which were launched on the new website when it went live in April, at the beginning of April. I know it's only what, the fifth today, I think. Um, so if you haven't seen them, if you haven't had a chance to check out the new website, then these products are already on there if you're interested. So what I'll do is I'll turn over to my overhead camera and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I'll introduce these two new little new projects. Products, not projects. <sighs> okay, so this is my almost full Dina Wakely multimedia journal. So I'm just gonna to turn to one of the cotton pages, which are at the back, uh, and just show you, um, I'm going to work on this page today. But the first product I wanted to introduce to you is this new stencil. So let me just put something black behind it. This is called Mr. Moon. So inspired um, by a vintage, one of those Victorian moon-faced images uh, that I found, um, which obviously is public domain, and I've cleaned it up. Um, I've swapped and changed the eyes a little bit um, and then made this into a 6x6 stencil, which is absolutely fantastic. It's some, an image that I wanted as a stencil for a long, long time. So I'm going to be using this today. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to grab some black gesso which I did just get out and I've put it down to its there look right in front of my face. Just give it a shake because obviously if it's a moon it needs to be in a night sky doesn't it? So let's just grab a brush. There we go. Let's grab some black gesso just from the lid. And I'm just going to go across the page, really kind of nice and loose. So this is going to soak nicely into that kind of cotton paper, cotton paper. There we go. Look how quickly it just soaks straight into that page. Very thirsty. So a nice kind of loose painterly background. I'm not going to go completely to the edges. I want that kind of diffused, kind of grungy kind of edge to it. So there's a nice little kind of border all the way around a little bit just showing through there so that's the first stage of the art journal and obviously we need to get that dry what well, shouldn't really take that long to dry anyway because it's just so onto paper so it'll just soak straight through and dry in fact you can probably see it's almost dry now Okay, so that's the gesso all nice and dry. So I'm going to bring the moon in, just have it a little bit lower 
down here. And what I'm going to do is just grab a pencil. There we go. Oh, there's no point on that. Oh, there's no point to it. What's this? Is this a Stabilo all pencil down there? I'm sure I've got another pencil somewhere. Look at this. Totally unprepared. There we go. I knew I had one somewhere. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the stencil. Just draw around that shape, just loosely, just so I know where kind of like the end of that circle is, just as a guide. When I lift that off, you'll be able to see, can you see the circle there? So I'll know pretty much where the edge of the stencil is. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some indigo blue luscious pigment powder and this is silver. So this is dry metallic powder. And let me just see if I can grab a brush. There's a little bit of water on the brush. When I put my brush into the pot, can you see how it's bringing out the powder? When I put that down onto my work surface and then add a little bit more water, that turns into a really nice kind of silvery paint. But because it's water-based, it's like a silver watercolour paint. And then I can just paint my set. Look at that. It's like magic, isn't it? And then I can just do it again. A bit of water on my mat. Just wet the edge of my brush. Dip into the powder. And then just mix it onto the palette to create the paint. Lovely. Is it just like having a silver watercolour paint? A bit more. So I'm just creating that kind of silvery outline. Nice kind of shimmer. And I'll just drop that back into my water. If I've got, I've still got the squeaky chair. The squeaky chair is still there. Okay, so I'll just give that a quick clean up. And then of course, with it being water-based, you can just give it a quick blast with your heat gun and that'll dry. All dry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take some black acrylic paint. I could just use the gesso again, but why not? And I'm just gonna add some of that onto my desktop. I've got an ink blending foam here and oh let's just grab that's it a handle and then I'm going to load up the ink blending foam with the paint because what a lot not a lot of people know is that these ink blending foams can also be used with paint just as easily. Look how easy that it absorbs the paint. And now I can bring my stencil back. I now know where the edges are. And I can just gently start adding in that detail. I'm just going around in small circular motions. I 
I think I've got just about everywhere. And then, <laughs> and of course, what we have to do is just quickly wash that, drop it in some water, just wash it. And you can also wash your ink blending film as well. If you run it under the tap now, while it's still wet, all the paint will come out and you've got another ink blending film that you can use with some more paint. So I'll just quickly go and wash these off, wash that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, I've cleaned my stencil. And that's the ink blending foam that I used, ready to use another day. So I'll put that stencil to one side. So now, of course, we need to add a few stars in the sky. So I'm going to use just this bit here. And I've got a little spatula. Let's just prove a point and use that ink blending foam again. Oh, and have we got any white gesso handy? Yes. just run over to the west wing to wash them out and then run all the way back again. And then what did I do with the handle? Of course I've left it in the, ba the bathroom, haven't I? Have we got another one? Yes, I have. Here we go, I've got a different handle this time. Right, so let's get some of that gesso. So let's just put some of that from the bottle. Just on there, ink blending foam again, and pick up the white gesso this time. There we go. So what you could do, if you've got a piece of card, is just go over there. Because you could just use a sponge if you wanted. And then we'll put some over there. If you've got one of those finger daubers, it works really well as. Hee hee. A little bit, a little bled under there a little bit. Put some down there. Just gently does it more down here I mean, if you wanted to you could just draw them freehand but you know down here just because come on I'm doing this with my left hand that's why I'm a bit, a bit cack handed if you'll pardon the expression I'm trying to hold it with my left hand there we go I'm right handed but left phoned if you know what that means <laughs> I use my phone with my left hand <laughs> Okay, so we've got some stars in the sky just there. Got that ink blending film there, so we'll give that a quick blast as well. Doesn't take long to dry at all. Okay, so I've also got two types of paint pen. I've got a Uni Posca. This is a white one, which is the 0.9 or 1.3 millimeter. But I've also got this one from a company called Pabio. I hope I've pronounced that right. And this is a 1.2. So let's just see how, so that comes out pretty quickly, which is not necessarily what I want, but I'm going to pop just a little eye, just a little highlight in those eyes there. But what you can also do if you wanted to, is you could use these to add a few little splatters. Just to add a little bit of variation. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I 
That didn't really want to happen, did it? Oh, that's just rubbish. Disaster strikes or what? Not really. And I'll show you why in a second. Just lift that off. Okay, so learn from your mistakes, Mike. Okay, that'll do. So we can do splatters with paint pens, we can do splatters with paint brushes, however you want. Okay, now, not such a huge disaster, because I'll just quickly explain why. Let me just dry everything off first, and then I'll be back. Okay, so damage limitations with that blob there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a little bit more of the silver paint that we did with the luscious. But just a little bit, I'm not going to need a huge amount. And I'm just going to repaint over. I kind of want it fairly thickish, so I'm not going to add too much water. There we go. So there's that bleg gone. Just blend that a little bit. Yeah, this is what they call definite damage limitations, right? So, but at least I like to show you where I've gone wrong and how I've kind of solved the issue. So the luscious pigment powders are water reactive even when they're dry. So let me just quickly get rid of that. Okay, so that's dry. I've got a little piece of black sponge, so I'm going to grab the black gesso again, just put a little tiny bit on this cosmetic sponge, just work it in a tad, and I can now lay the stencil back over uh, where it was, that the wrong way around, or should it be that way, shouldn't it? So that was where the mouth was, and you can see where I've gone over with that silver paint and I've also covered up that little bit there so I'm just going to put the stencil back down over the same place and then just dab there you go I swear it is my chair <laughs> I'm not making strange noises not today, anyway. Okay, so that's that cleaned up, and that's that little mistake sorted. So I'm just going to quickly dry it off, and then I'll be back again. Okay, we're back. Now then, is that PBO pen going to behave itself? Am I going to be able to write with it? Let's see if I've got a different one. What's this one? This is a Signo Uniball, or Uniball Signo Broad in white. Will I be able to write with it? Possibly, okay. So, I'm going to just do a little bit of writing around the side. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. But again, I can, at a later date, come back when this is dry and just reinforce those letters.
that's Ian just coming back from walking Mr. Bentley Boos. If you're lucky, he may even come up and say hello. Depend how tired he is. <laughs> Lots of people are quite frightened of doing hand lettering on art journal pages and I say don't be, it's your art journal so it should be your handwriting not a facsimile or you trying to copy somebody else's just go for it and do it, it's you, nobody else okay so there we go I'm not going to do anything else and here he is Hello. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. <laughs> That's lovely. I love that mask. It's cool. Well, yeah, mask. Yes. Stencil. Stencil mask, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love the MDF as well. Well, I haven't mentioned those yet. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's fine. Should I go and so, them? No, they're just here, look. Oh, they lovely. just happen to be here. So, if you were thinking, these would make really nice little MDF embellishments. These are <laughs> so cool. I love those. So, uh, there's also a set of these on the website now let me just quickly show you so obviously these are medite so this is the low carb compliant there's not a lot of nasty nasty stuff in this it's very very low formaldehyde so very very earth friendly and very very eco-friendly too so this is a five inch version of that cut out of the two mil medite so you get a five inch there's a four inch there's a three inch version but there's also a little dinky two inch version too, also, as well as. <laughs> so those four in the one pack, and they're also on the website too. But the stencil obviously is a six by six stencil. And don't forget, stencils and both the medite, facing left or facing right, whichever you prefer. <laughs> so that's all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching me do this quick art journal page. Um, blooming squeaky chair, honestly. I need to feed it, I think. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed watching me do that quick art journal page. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. Just look at that shine from those luscious powders. So the luscious powders um, can also be found on the Indigo Blue website. I can't stop them, I'm afraid. Uh, just don't have the room. <laughs> but they're there. <laughs> Available in all sorts of different shades and colours. <laughs> That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.